What is the difference between a CPAP machine and a BiPAP machine? Well, a CPAP machine is a continuous positive airway pressure device. Continuous meaning one. So it's gonna give you one solid pressure throughout the night. Where a BiPAP machine has two pressures. So it has an inhalation pressure and an exhalation pressure. Now with a CPAP, you can change it in the clinical menu settings to be an APAP, an automatic positive airway pressure. But that being said, it's pretty much similar to a CPAP. It's just gonna be able to adjust the pressure throughout the night. So maybe you start off with a, a 10 centimeters of water pressure, the machine figures out the way you're sleeping, the way your neck is, whatever. That 11 would be a little bit better, so it goes up to 11, then maybe it goes up to 12 for like an hour, and then it goes back to 11 or whatever, right? But it's still giving you a continuous pressure. Whereas a BiPAP device is constantly changing. With every inhale and with every exhale, it's giving you two different pressures. Now that being said, if you have a CPAP machine, you can kind of get it to work in a BiPAP kind of mode. For ResMed devices, it's called EPR, or expiratory pressure relief, and that's going to bring down the pressure when you exhale. But you can only do it to like a level of three, for example. So if you have a level of 10, that's your continuous pressure. You set EPR to a three, which is maxed out. And when you exhale, it's gonna go down to a seven. And when you inhale, it's gonna go back up to a 10. Whereas a bi-pressure device is gonna have a lot more flexibility. You could have a bi-pressure device, for example, working at a 20 pressure on your inhale and a 10 pressure on your exhale. Now, because of this, the machines actually work quite differently. If you look online, you might see that a lot of people are saying that a BiPAP machine is a lot more comfortable because it's easier to exhale. But there's more to it than just that. The actual clientele of these two devices can be different. So in general, a CPAP machine is gonna be more focused towards OSA or obstructive sleep apnea. So that's when you have uh, your tongue or your throat uh, cl closing up. So in many cases, your tongue gets too relaxed. Your throat might have fatty tissue around it, making it a little bit smaller. Your tongue falls into your throat when you sleep and you relax. That's causing an obstruction and you can't breathe. So having a positive airway device, kind of putting a little bit of air through your throat keeps your airway open. Okay, whereas a bi-level device has different clientele in the sense that it can still treat OSA symptoms, but is generally geared towards people with also CSA symptoms or central sleep apnea. Central sleep apnea is when the brain is basically not communicating with the lungs and the central nervous system properly to allow you to take breaths properly. So it's more of a brain thing versus a throat kind of blockage. Now, because of that, if you go to a sleep therapist, you're probably going to get put on a CPAP machine first to test it out. And if it doesn't work and you still have symptoms, you're gonna be tested on a BiPAP machine, okay? Because most people generally have more OSA symptoms than uh, CSA symptoms. Now, it is possible to have both if you have complex sleep apnea, and in general, you're gonna be put on a bi-level device. With that being said, if you are just an OSA patient, you have obstructive sleep apnea, your doctor might still recommend a BiPAP machine if you're having problems exhaling against the pressure, or you just have a huge amount of pressure, uh, like a level 20 or something like that, and you just know it's gonna be more comfortable with a BiPAP device. In those cases, your doctor might recommend it. There's other cases as well. For example, if the patient has COPD, uh, the way that their brain is recepting to the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the lungs is different than a normal person. So they're gonna need a BiPAP device to help allow them to regulate their breaths in and out. So you might see in the comments that a bi-level device is way more comfortable, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's more comfortable to you. If you don't need a bi-level device, it actually can make things worse. Because the pressure is going up and down, for some people that kind of confuse their own uh, respiratory system and their respiratory rate kind of goes crazy. It doesn't really know how to work with the machine. So there's too much oxygen in the blood, there's too little oxygen in the blood. And because the person just basically has a little blockage in their throat and they don't really need the fluctuation of a BiPAP machine, it gets their heart rate and their respiratory rate to kind of fluctuate and not give you a peaceful night's sleep. So with most people struggling with OSA, a CPAP machine is gonna do the trick and it's gonna be exactly what they need. Now, if you do wanna try a bit of a BiPAP experience with your CPAP, you can do that in the clinical menu. Um, and basically you can turn on EPR settings. And like I said, uh, you can actually decrease the pressure to a certain amount. To access EPR, we're gonna to have to get to the clinical menu. Just take your fingers and put them on these two buttons here. Then we'll see clinical home. We're gonna click settings. And then we're just gonna swipe down we're gonna see EPR right there. We're gonna click it on. You can change your EPR style so you can have full-time EPR or just during the ramp phase. So we're just gonna select full-time there, select okay. 
and then we have the EPR level. So like I said, with a CPAP machine, you have options of one, two, three. With a BiPAP machine, you can have a lot more different levels. So we're gonna have, for example, a two. And let's go back up and look at our pressure. So our CPAP pressure is 10. So that means when we exhale, it's gonna be an eight. As you can see here, we also have mode for CPAP. You can click that right there. And then we have CPAP, auto set, and auto set for her. So a few different styles. Click your little house for home, click exit. And there you go. Now make sure you talk to your healthcare professional about this before doing it yourself. Well, I hope you found this uh, video useful. Give us a like if you did. Uh, take care.